it began in the rain and it was on a wet and slippery road that McLaren's led away one and two with Kevin S ahead of Alvaro Parent. It wasn't long before the drama started. Frederick Verniche having a lose coming out of Lecon. It was just clipped by Tony Villander. Villander was in the gravel himself a couple of laps later. Guy Smith was working his way through traffic, trying to find a way up past Lucas Law early on, but Bentley gaining track position before Gilles Duquesne went off the road and did a lot of damage to the front of the number 90 Ferrari. That brought out the first of the safety car periods. It split the pack up, rather, but on the restart, it wasn't long before there was more drama. Carrie Auger off in a spectacular lose at the top of Radion. He did a lot of damage to the car and also to the barrier. The best news of all was that Carrie himself was OK. Teams cycled through the pit stops, electing to do the stops under safety car conditions because they would lose less time relative to doing so under green flag full race conditions. On the restart, the drivers that had pitted to go on to slick tyres were caught out by the weather, which soon deteriorated and many had to come back in. We had a full course yellow because of the conditions. We had another safety car period after a crash. And those that were handicapped earlier with the deployment of the safety car were soon back in the mix. Alexey Karachev went missing soon before midnight because he went off at the foot of the hill down to Rouge and we lost Philip Salaquada as well. He's out in cannoning off into the barriers at Longchamp. Another safety car period and Alex Zanardi made his first appearance in the race, his first 24-hour experience. A specially adapted BMW in the end would retire in the last hour of the race after an engine failure. As darkness fell, the drivers ploughed on into the night and the teams well aware that a long night was ahead. Andy Merrick had a spin coming out of La Source, but worse was to come when he got tangled up with traffic at Lincoln and damaged the car. Slow back to the pits was Michel Blanchemin in a car that would limp to the finish. Andrea Piccini cannoned off the side of Nico Verdonk and that did lots of damage to both cars, putting them out of the race. All that drama had come before midnight, so too had this. The race-leading car went off the road and Lawrence Van Thor suffered damage it was in its pit box and it lost five laps and it would never recover with some penalties to come and then a gearbox issue at the end of the race, really condemning it to being a rather forgotten car after high hopes. Max Buch, winner two years ago, he had a spin as well. He was able to get back into the race, but as far as he was concerned, it was a very disappointing race and mechanical problems put that car out of the race in the end as well. Alex Bunker got involved with a Ferrari, he suffered damage. And then, as dawn broke, 45 BMW with Augusto Farfus at the wheel was leading the way. Going strongly, the number 99 Mercedes running in fourth place, and Gary Kondakelf had a spin in the number 50 AF Corsa Kaspersky Ferrari. It rejoined, but worse was to come, and the car would retire. Mike Rockenfeller spun up Eau Rouge, losing the engine cover. That popped out as the car spun, and Bass Linders was overseeing the success of his team. The lead gap grew after this stuck wheel delayed the number two pit stop. Dirk Werner took over 45 as Adrian Zahn's engine let go in the Lamborghini Huracan. A great battle between Nick Katzberg and Nico Bastian put the BMW just ahead and it would gain another place with the demise of its teammate as Dirk Werner's engine seized a Brussel. Round went the car and it was out of the race. Horrible noises from the transmission and the team could scarcely believe what it was seeing but Nick Katzberg worked his way onto the tail of Stefan Ortelli, who had just taken over the race lead, and he made the move for leadership, heading down towards the first corner. Up on the inside line went the BMW, and the lead was Nick Katzberg's as they turned their way through Lassau's. Lucas Law was delighted, but could they stay there? The answer was yes. And it's an alternator problem and massive overheating. For Phoenix, they were set for third. WRT set for second place. That number 46 BMW would come through victorious ahead of the number two Audi. It was one last pit stop, the most important of the race for Mark VDS Racing. It all went according to plan. The car was cycled through well. A Pro-Am victory would go the way of Ferrari AF Corsa's car. And in the Am Cup, it was the Audi, number 24 of Team Parker Racing. At the checkered flag, though, it was an emotional win for Mark VDS Racing. Honours for Nick Katzberg, Marcus Paltela and Lucas Law as they came across the line to win. So, at the end of the race, it was victorious for the BMW team. A great result for Nick Katzberg, Marcus Paltela and Lucas Law at the Spa 24 Hours. A tremendous race that we've had. From David Addison, John Watson and OJ Borg for now, bye-bye from Spa.